You're listening to Worldview from Chicago Public Radio. I'm Jerome McDonald. I'm speaking with Jim Zalkowski, and he is the founder and president of Building with Books. And Building with Books works with American youth to build schools in developing countries through a sister schoolhouse program. And so far, they've helped construct more than 149 schools in nine countries. Explain the the sister schoolhouse aspect of this. Um, How does that uh, work, and how does that end up uh, making this uh, a reality? Well, we run extensive after-school programs in cities throughout the United States. Uh, We're in Chicago, of course. We're also in Connecticut, New York City, in the Bronx, and South Bronx, and Harlem. We're in Philadelphia. We're in Detroit. Uh, We're in Oakland and San Francisco, and we want to keep growing. And in these programs... American high school students do primarily two things. They do intensive community service work in their own in their own neighborhoods or cities, working with elders, working with homeless, and working with children. And then they actually sponsor schools overseas. And we take these kids from the South Bronx, from Chicago, from Philly, we take these kids over to developing countries around the world to build these schools. So we'll take them to Mali, West Africa. In fact, I'm leaving tomorrow with a bunch of kids from the Bronx to build a school in, in Mali. And um, the kids that are involved in the programs in the states do, as I said, intensive amounts of service work. In the last one year, they've contributed over 60,000 hours of service. Huh. So it's real, and they're serious about making a difference in their communities. And, and they've also raised enough money to build five schools around the world. And every penny of every dollar that these kids raise goes to build the schools, and we are able to get different donors and sponsors to cover the cost of taking the kids over to build these schools. Okay, so some of the, do all the schools that you build have uh, schoolhouse partners here in the U.S.? Um, <clears throat> not exactly. The way it works is we'll have a team of, of high schools work together to sponsor a single school overseas because one single high school isn't able to raise quite enough money to build an entire school. So we'll team up different regions and schools together to sponsor a single school. And then those schools actually get to know each other. They work on larger-scale service projects, the American kids, that is, from different schools. And, um, and then together they're, they're sponsoring the school, and they're, they follow the construction of the school um, uh, via our website and via email communications with our staff in these different countries. Um, and we also have a global education component that we integrate into classrooms where they learn about issues that affect people in the countries where we work. So in Mali, they're learning a lot about Islam, because Mali is a devoutly Muslim country. And in Nepal, they'll learn about uh, Hinduism. In India, they'll learn a little bit more about Buddhism. They learn about world belief systems. They also learn about deforestation issues in Brazil or, you know, whatever the, the different topic that's relevant to their global studies curriculum is, we'll bring it to life. Um, by connecting them with these villages, shooting digital video footage, and bringing it right into their classrooms. All right, that sounds great. Um, How often do the people who are in the village have the ability to, um, I don't know, uh, communicate with with kids via email here? I mean, is that something that uh, can happen in Malawi and places like that? It is. What we do is, um, surprisingly, the kids, the, the students in the U.S. are more interested in, in the video footage that we pipe back, and they're more interested in meeting with the people that have been overseas than they are in emailing people in the villages. Um, I, I don't know the, the reason why it is that way, but what we do is we make it available for students to communicate with villagers if they wish to. They usually opt for, I guess, the, the more exciting visual stimulus that comes <laughs> with video footage that we, that we put together. Kids today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what kind of so what kind of films do they show back and forth to each other? Um, well, the 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 footage goes primarily. We shoot the footage in the villages while we're building schools, and you know when when American kids come overseas to build the schools, they'll live in the village for a couple of weeks. They'll break ground, you know, and and uh, on the on the school, they'll help to make all the cinder blocks that we'll need to build the school. And while, while they're there, we'll film these actually, these, these American students while they're building the school, and we'll film different aspects of local cultures. So in Mali, for instance, you know, we'll be filming all sorts of different things that are relevant to people in West Africa. We'll, 
we'll film the, the drumming and the singing and the dancing and a lot of the really exciting uh, cultural aspects of village life. Uh, we'll be filming aspects about subsistence farming and how the people are able to, to grow and harvest the food that they need to survive. Um, they'll, we'll, we'll film aspects of uh, traditional healing and local healing. That the, and, and these are very remote villages, once again, that, that locals rely on. Um, you know, we'll, we'll meet with a midwife who uh, delivers the children in the village and interview her, and it'll be on, on footage so that this footage not only features the locals in the village, but also American kids interacting with, with the people and learning about the culture firsthand. And then when they, we, we bring it back to the States, these kids themselves use the footage in their classrooms, and it, and it makes it more relevant and credible to the other high school kids in their school. So it's pretty, pretty interesting and, and pretty inspiring to see the transformation that takes place with the American youth and, and how they share it with other kids once they get back to the States. 